What is up, you guys? It has been a hot minute since you've heard from your boy Avery LR32. Wanted to make you guys a video right quick, just kind of talking about the ban list. I was up here just chilling on my computer, looking at some of the product and stuff, kind of, you know, getting back into my, I guess, quote unquote, break from the game of Yu Gi Oh! Uh, for those of you who don't know, I already had my invite to nationals. I ended up not going just because I really didn't have the funds to go. And uh, I actually ended up selling my Trickstar core to a friend of mine for like a hundred bucks right before the reprint got announced, like a day or two before the reprint for Reincarnation got announced, I sold everything for super expensive, made some good money. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the ban list because I was trying to figure out when we might see a ban list. And Konami, of course, has said on the ban list, no sooner uh, than August 2018 is when we will see the next list. Now, on the last list, if I remember correctly, the one that was effective February 5th and May 21st, well, clearly May 21st, they waited until near the end of the month to give us this list. So I was kind of sitting here like, gee, you know, like maybe we can kind of figure out a time frame here as to when we can expect to see the ban list or at least can kind of get a good idea to when we, you know, really need to sell off all of our stuff and make sure that we're making decent money before the ban list drops and you guys kind of, you know, lose your ass on, on, uh, on some money. Or on some money cards, whatever the case may be. So, uh, I was looking at the release dates here because I couldn't remember them off the top of my head. Shadows of Valhalla releases on uh, 8-16, so that is August 16th. And then we have the 2018 Megatons coming out at the end of August on August 30th. And then, of course, the official launch date being on August 31st. Um, one thing that was really difficult here was the fact that Konami doesn't have these in perfect order. Um, like I was trying to see when the special edition for Cybernate Horizon comes out, but that doesn't come, in, come out until the ninth month. Uh, which is September, and then we don't even get, and then you see Shadows of Valhalla is all the way out up here, but we get this sooner than we get the Cybernetic Horizon Special Edition. Um, I'm not worried about White Dragon Abyss and all that. I'll take a look at it here, but I don't think we're going to see that anytime soon. Yeah, see, we're not seeing this until 927. By the time that stuff like this, and even Soul Fusion releases, we're already going to have a new ban list, which what I thought was interesting was that the Hero decks comes out on 10-4 in like local tournament stores and that's the day of my birthday so I'll be turning 22 and this comes out and it'll also be two days before there's a regional here in uh, Kissimmee, Florida or rather in the state of Florida. I don't live in Kissimmee but uh, by that point we will definitely have a new list because shit I mean it'll be October. So my prediction for this upcoming ban list that we sh will definitely get in August it's not going to be a deal where like they wait until the end of the month. I don't see them doing that. My prediction is that either right before Shadows of Valhalla comes out, they will release a ban list so that they can be able to drive up their prices. If not, then the worst case I see happening is that either on 817 between between 817 to maybe a few days before the 2018 Megatons comes out, Konami releases a ban list. However, at the same time, I could also see them releasing a ban list right when the Megatons come out, or like on September 1st, like a couple days after the Megatons come out. That way they can be able to sell the product. People can get their evenly matched and Borlo Dragons and Skull Dreads and all that, and then they can kind of make the ban list and do whatever it is that they feel best to do. So... I would not expect this ban list overall until mid to late August. I don't see any reason why Konami would release a ban list sooner than um, August, you know, 20th, 25th. Uh, I really don't think that they would wait until August 30th. Maybe they'll do like what they did with May and wait until August 21st. That way it lines up with May 21st, and they'll release it then. That way, that gives them like a, that gives them four days after the official launch date of Shadows of Valhalla to make money. Uh, gives them five days after the tournament store launch. Um, gives people time to buy up the cards that they want, like Mischief of the Time Goddess, and all of that fun stuff. Gives people a chance to buy up the Valkyrie stuff that they want. Um, then, if a ban list is out by then, a few days before the Megatons comes out, then people will be hot on the heels of the ban list to want to pick these up so that they can be able to get the Skull Dread, the Evenly Matched Warlord Dragon, and whatever. 
Um, but other than that, I want to know what you guys think. Because, I mean, if I really had to put a bold number on it, I would say anywhere between August 20th to August 25th. That is my prediction. Anywhere between those days, I think, is when we will see the ban list. So if you were looking on YouTube, you know, trying to find, you know, when would be a good expected date, I would say that this would be a good date between August 20th to 25th is my prediction. At least that way Konami has time to be able to sell uh, the Shadows and Valhalla product, and then that also gives them time to have a new format ready, set, to go. Uh, when the Megatons come out, people will be buying up those so that they can be able to make their new whatever is going to be the best deck of the format. Event-wise, I will admit I didn't really look at this because there's not really a whole lot going on after Worlds. We do have regionals and whatnot. Um, and then we do have the 200th Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series, but that's not until September. So there's not really another big event besides regionals, which do take place during August, until September 22nd. So by the time the 200 YCS rolls around, we are going to have a new ban list. I mean, that's, you know, going to be obvious. Um, and then, of course, we've got Niagara Falls of Canada, Pasadena, all that fun stuff. So, again, between August 20th and 25th, I think would be a best time to kind of, you know, have your stuff sold by then. I know I'm going to be... I know I've recently been getting back into the game, and I'm just going to be taking a break still until then, and about quite honestly just be playing Octopath Traveler. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the video in the comments down below. Uh, like I said, I know it's been a hot minute. Just wanted to fill you guys in on this, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.